Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to do hold winters, which is a triple exponential smoothing forecasting model. And it is one of the most useful and the most common exponential smoothing because it has this decaying importance over time and it's triple because it's done on three levels. There is also the level component, the trend component, and the seasonal component. If you're interested in learning about forecasting models and time series, please do check out my Udemy course that you can find the link in the description. So let's kick it off. And the first thing that we need to do is to get data. We need a couple of libraries for this, so library. And then the first one would be the zoo library. And then the second one would be the forecast library. So here we go, control enter as well. Now we need to get the data, so data, and then we write gold. Here we go, control enter as well. We see here on the right that it is as promised. And one of the things that will happen is that gold, as we'll be able to see that we can write it here. If we do control enter, we see that it has plenty of NAs. On top, if we go above, We'll see here that it has a start and an end. So start is one and then end is 1108, which does not make any sense. And then the frequency is one, uh, which is also not true because we have daily frequency. This is about the price of gold that started in 1985 and it was roughly for three years. So a couple of things that we need to do. We need to get rid of this NAs and then we need to give it the time series frequency from 1985 and it has a daily frequency. Now, how to deal with those NAs? There are a couple of things that we can do. The first one is that we can just simply get rid of them, uh, which will not do. And the second one, which is my favorite, is that instead of having this NA, and it's my favorite because we are dealing with prices, we will do the price that just happened of the day before. So that is exactly what we are going to do. So the first thing is to deal with these NAs. Let's call it gold. So gold equals and then we do this na.locf, open the parentheses. Now we include our gold and over here from last and then equals to true. Here we go. Let's do control enter. Then next step again, gold equals to, we will use the function ts for time series. Then the first thing is to include our gold and then we include a start, so start equals to 1985, here we go, comma, and then the frequency equals to 365. Let's do control enter, here we go. Now, if we run again our gold, just so that you can see the difference, we have here at the very beginning, so start 1985 on the one, up until 1988 and then the frequency is 365 and now let's do our hold winters which was the main purpose of this video and how to do this we'll create a model equals two and then we use the function hold winters here we go and then inside what we include so data set and then the other thing is the type of seasonality so seasonal equals two and then in quotation marks, let's include additive, can be either additive or multiplicative, the types of seasonality. Let's do control enter. And of course, data set not found because we called it gold. So let's change that. Here we go. And we see here our model. And one thing that we can do is that we can plot it. So let's visualize what we have created. Let me zoom in and we can see here that the black one is the thing that is the actual values. And then the red one is the values from the model. And we can see that overall it follows the values of the actual. So it's somewhat closer to what is there. As a result, we are actually done with this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have done so, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. And until then, have fun.